everyone, Gemma here, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever asked yourself, what is calligraphy? One definition is that it's decorative handwriting. Another definition is that it's a visual art form related to writing. I personally believe the second definition to be more on point. Calligraphy is an art form, one that is soaring in popularity in recent years. But what is the difference between calligraphy and nice cursive handwriting? Well, there are actually several and I'm going to break them down for you in this video. But before I get into that, if you enjoy calligraphy or bullet journaling or stationery reviews, consider subscribing for some of the future content. Right, let's get into it. The first difference is that calligraphy has distinctive thick and thin lines. Each time you move your pen downwards, the stroke is thicker, and when you move your pen upwards, the stroke is thinner. The difference in stroke thickness is largely what calligraphy is known for. Normal cursive handwriting, on the other hand, has a consistent thickness throughout. The next difference is that calligraphy requires specialised tools. There are specific types of pens dedicated to achieving the thick and thin lines that calligraphy is known for. There are dip pens which have a metal nib that you dip in ink. There are also brush pens that are similar to felt tip pens, but they have a tip that helps you to achieve those thick and thin lines. However, for cursive handwriting, you can use any old pen. You don't require specific tools to create it. Next up is the speed and intention that you write your letters with. When you are using handwriting, it is usually for the purpose of making notes. And as you develop your handwriting style, you tend to write relatively quickly. There's a practical element to handwriting. Calligraphy though is created at a much slower pace as it's the speed necessary to create neat, thick and thin lines. Each letter is created slowly and with purpose. Another difference are the rules. When you're taught handwriting in school, you're taught about ascenders and descenders and ensuring that your handwriting is written neatly on the baseline. There are many variations of calligraphy, but a common feature of modern calligraphy involves bouncing your letters so that they're not in a straight line. If you'd like to learn more about bouncing modern calligraphy, I do actually have a video on how to do this if you want to check that out. Because we're all taught to write on the baseline, there's therefore an element of unlearning when it comes to modern calligraphy. This isn't to say that calligraphy is without rules, and although calligraphy is individualistic in its style, there are still certain letters that tend to be created in a specific way, such as the letter R and F. They're typically only found in calligraphy and not in handwriting. Feel free to check out my YouTube video about the calligraphy alphabets if you want to learn more. The next difference is how you actually connect your letters. You'll find that your letters connect in different ways dependent on whether you're using cursive, handwriting or calligraphy. And that's because cursive is often about speed, whereas calligraphy is about going slow to create extra tidy letter formations. With cursive handwriting, you keep your pen on the page as this enables you to go more quickly, whereas with calligraphy, you should take your pen off the page after each individual stroke. If you want to learn more about connecting letters in calligraphy, I've created a blog post on this, which I will link down in the description for you if you want to check that out. So those are the differences between cursive handwriting and calligraphy. If you can think of any other examples, please comment them down below. And I hope that this video made things clearer as to the differences. If you do enjoy calligraphy, consider subscribing for some of the future content. And thank you for watching.